as you can tell from my last video this is what I was talking about with Opticom it is a series of binary numbers that I use to store in memory and I wrote this code on here on an Arduino this is an at Mega 328 328p PU and what I did was I used a few commands to call up uh, to represent uh, the output of pin 13 to control this LED this is a white LED but what I used to decode this, I had a video that I had watched previously and I froze this video frame by frame and got a pattern on this and I, I haven't had a time to test and see if this was if this actually does work or not but it looks to me that I'm pretty close on this um, and what they're doing is they're still using the the pattern is still 14 hertz, but instead of it looking at a typical clock cycle of on and off, on and off, it could be that the periods that that they're supposed to be on it could be extended out, um, and I'll give you a diagram of what I've come up with. Okay, as you can see, the pattern on the left is a clock signal and it's timed at 14 hertz in a series. On, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. Now, if you take a look at the, the right here, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer here. You've got the same 14 hertz signal for these lights. And notice how the pulse pattern is a little bit different, but I've left the check marks, the little hash marks in between to indicate um, the frequency. And what they're doing. They're chain. They're using a variation of patterns. Let me get my uh, pointer out here. Okay, they're using a different variation of patterns. You might see a pulse, and then you go to the next half cycle, next half cycle, next half cycle, next half cycle. This period is off. And then you go to another cycle where it's on, but it's on a half a cycle. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you get six, six on off cycles or clock cycles to where it is a constant on with this and then you come down here one two three four you got two cycles in between here where it's off and usually it's followed you'll see this very you'll see a pattern like this very in here and this is and I believe that this is supposed to be the uh, random code here and then you'll see this pattern right here on the emitters you'll see a four cycle pattern where it's on off on off on off on off I decoded one of these emitters frame by frame 
and what I did was I stored I wrote them all down as binary and I put it together um, I went through all the numbers and I assembled each one as a in, as a byte in memory and I encoded that into my Arduino board at Mega 328 but you can use uh, just about any any controller that you would want uh, you can possibly put that into a tiny you can put it into um, AT2313 you can even store that code into um, a serial EEPROM which I haven't done. I, I just used the internal one. It, I can't I was only able to get about um, 55, 55 uh, flashes on this vehicle that I watched in the video and I had 55 bytes of EEPROM stored in here and what this does is I use a couple of commands in here to go from uh, most significant bit to least significant bit in here and I use that to go to the output of pin 13 which goes to the LED now this is just a prototype I have not tried this out yet at any lights to see if this actually works yet or not but um, not a hundred percent sure of the timing of it but it can be the timing can be easily modified in the code itself um, I have the source code available real easy program to write it was real easy to come up with um, if you have any questions you can send me an email through uh, or you can send me a private message through YouTube. But you can get, but there's, you can hook up multiple LED, white LEDs. You can get high end intensity LEDs. You can have that switch through a transistor or a MOSFET. Um, as you can see it's I just have it on one LED but it's capable of much more thanks for watching